Hello and welcome to this video in which I will show you how you can draw digitally on Smith charts using Microsoft PowerPoint. If you don't have a paper copy of a Smith chart to do calculations or a homework assignment, you can use a digital template and then put it on PowerPoint and then perform the calculations with the tools provided in this program. Now let's begin. Here I have a high resolution template of a combined impedance and admittance Smith chart. Let's begin by first learning how to navigate. In PowerPoint, you can scroll up and down with the scroll wheel of your mouse to move up and down on the slide. We can also use this right bar, then click, hold the click, and then release it where we want to scroll. If we want to zoom in or out, we can hit the control key on your keyboard, keep it pressed, and then scroll the wheel up to zoom in or down to zoom out. Notice that there is also a horizontal bar here to move left or right. Now let's begin by making some drawings. All of your drawing tools that you'll be using are going to be on the Insert tab. If you click on the Insert tab and go to Shapes, you will see all the tools that you have available to make drawings on PowerPoint. For this Smith chart, we will use the line, the arc, the curve, and the oval. Let's start with the oval first. Click on it, and then you will have a crosshair now as your pointer. If you click and drag, you will be able to make ovals. If you want to erase an oval, you can select it by clicking, left clicking, and then hit delete on your keyboard. If you want to undo your action, hit Ctrl Z, then you can delete again by pressing the key. Now let's look at an impedance and locate it on this mid chart. We can zoom in and then let's assume we want to find the impedance, the normalized impedance 2 plus J1. So we identify it here on the real axis we go to normalized impedance 2 and then we move up where it hits 1.0 and then we can draw our small oval here to pinpoint the location of the impedance. Now you will have the format tab when you select the oval and we can change the colors of the shape. If we click on shape fill we can choose all these colors to color the shape. Let's go with black and then same with the outline. You can also click over these buttons to paint the fill and the outline of the color that is presented here. Now here we have our point and let's assume that we are just working with an impedance chart so we want to find the admittance. The way of finding the admittance in the Smith chart is by drawing a circle of constant visual and then drawing a line that goes from the impedance, crosses the center and then to the other side of the circle. So we're gonna do that. Now again let's go to insert tab, shapes, oval. Now we will draw our circle from the center of this mid chart to the impedance. Now we will do that. We go where the crosshairs meet the origin and then we're gonna drag but you see that PowerPoint does not center the oval. So we need to center 
and then we need to also make it a circle. So the way to center is by clicking and holding down control while you're still dragging with your mouse and keep uh, the button clicked and then you see that it's centered around the origin then if you want to make it a circle while still keeping pressed control and the click button you hit shift and then if you drag you'll see that it will create a perfect circle no matter where you drag so it's control shift click to create a circle that is centered now we go then put our circle and here it is and it's centered now we can change the fill so that it doesn't cover the smith chart then click no fill and we can also change the outline to black and there you go you have our circle centered on the smith chart now we can draw our line then again we go to insert shapes line then if you want we can zoom in scroll down and then we can start drawing our line from the impedance point then I can drag cross through the center and then goes to the other side then you can move your line a little bit outside sometimes it will happen that the line when you're navigating like uh, moving the, the line or some other shape that it tries to snap to certain uh, things or or geometries that are already present so in order to enable in a way precision mode you can while still dragging your shape hit alt and then keep alt pressed and you can see or feel that it doesn't snap to any feature in PowerPoint so it's it kind of enables a precision mode where you can put the shape when it, whatever you want without snapping so let's do that hitting uh, hitting alt and then click then we can release and there's our line now again with format we can change the color maybe change the weight and if we want we can put another marker here to put the admittance and so we can do just select the circle but maybe you cannot select the circle because you're selecting the line and and so what you want to do is you want to just select this this small circle so what you can do is right click on the line and then send to back so this it's going to be sending back the line and then when you click now you were not now you are not selecting the line but you're selecting the circle so we're going to do the same with the circle send to back and then now you can select this small circle so we can copy paste control c and then control v then we can move this point to r intersection again you can see that it is snapping you can see the red dotted lines that appear we can disable that by hitting alt while placing the circle to be more precise and there you go now you can find your admittance again this is a combined admittance and impedance uh, smith chart so there's no need you just um, at least in this case you just read off the admittance from the blue circles but if you don't have uh, an admittance mid chart this is a way of drawing your centered circle and then your lines and points to calculate the admittance now let's try to draw some curves on this mid chart so what we're gonna do is maybe when you're doing uh, stub matching or you're doing circuit theory when you're moving up the admittance or impedance circles you want to keep tabs uh, how much you're moving through the circles 
and you want to draw your procedure. So again, go to Insert, Shapes, and then we'll go and pick Curve, shown here. Now let's assume you have a stop tuning, and then you hit a reactance of, I don't know, 1.2, for example. And so you have to draw or identify the 1.2 reactance circle. And one of the ways to do that is to draw a curve and you're going to see that it's very easy. So let's just zoom in on the 1.2 circle. Let's zoom out a little bit just so that it covers the entire circle here. And then again, we already have our crosshairs and we will start drawing a curve by clicking and releasing, we're not going to be dragging the mouse here. We're just going to be clicking over points and little by little, we're going to start clicking and making our curve like this. So we click, let's go to 1.2 and then click on the first point. Again, just click, do not drag. Then we can go to our next point, maybe it's this intersection and then follow the curve, click again follow the curve, click again, and then you see that now you're, now you're making your curve. Then just go like this, little by little, to make your curve until you go to this part. Now here you have your last point. If you want to stop doing the curve, you just hit double click, double click, and then your line is going to be done. Again, we can change the outline so that it's uh, color black. And for example, if you don't like your curve, maybe it's uh, not, not perfect, or you move one point, then you can edit the curve. For example, here I messed up a little. So we can zoom in to this point, and then we select the curve, then right click, then edit points. Then here you will see all of the points that you clicked. Now we can click and drag each individual point so that we can fix the curve. You can see that you have also these white uh, squares. So if you rotate them or move them, it's going to uh, be like a mirror. They're going to be a mirror of themselves and you can edit the curves further this way by shrinking or stretching these points. So yeah, let's undo that. Control Z. And there you go. Here we have our curve. Maybe you didn't, maybe you finished the curve, but you forgot to add more points maybe you want to the curve to go all the way out of this mid chart here to see how much how many wavelengths uh, is this uh, equal to so we can also add points so again with the curve selected we right click and then edit points and here we can right click again and then click add point it will add the point where you double clicked. So we can just grab this point, then put it here. Maybe we can change the orientation a little bit. And there you go. That's how you can add a point to a curve that's already done. Now let's try to make an arc. Maybe you want to make an arc from this point to this point to illustrate how much you traversed on this mid chart here. So let's click again insert and now we're gonna go with the arc. So click the arc and it's going to be the same procedure as with the circle. We go to the center, click and drag, drag, drag while, while keeping click and then hit control to be centered and also shift to make a perfect circle, just be careful that 
the circle does not um, disappear, right? And maybe the the controls the control is a little bit unstable, so you're not able to do the full arc. It's okay. We can just release it, and then from these corner points we can finish building the arc. Again, we can click, keep clicked, and then control shift to keep drawing the arc. And again, maybe it snaps, right? Like here, you see the red dotted lines that it shows that it's snapping to something. I can also type alt at the same time to stop the snapping. So it's control alt shift, and it will enable precision mode a perfect circle and centered on the origin so you can put all these three keys together and finally we release and for the arc we have our arc points here shown in yellow we can click and drag to move our arc here and again we can change the shape and thickness and there you go that's how you build an arc now finally maybe when you're doing circuit theory you are moving along lines of constant impedance or admittance to insert inductors or capacitors you want to show that in on the smith chart so i'm going to show you how to do that it's the same uh, procedure as with the curves again insert shape curve now let's assume that we're going along, I don't know, this admittance circle from here to here. And we go again, we go from the origin, we click our point, our first point, second point, third point, fourth point, all the way to here, then double click. Again, if your uh, curve is not perfect, you can click, uh, again, right click, uh, edit points, and then move your points, right? Now we move through the admittance circle, drew our curve. Let's assume, for example, that now we are moving on the impedance circles, uh, for example, this one. So again, we're going to insert curve, then we start from this point, then Again, just follow the curves, go little by little until you hit your uh, desired endpoint, maybe something like this. And again, we can just change the outline uh, color. And there you have it. Now you learned how to draw on a digital smith chart using a very simple Microsoft Office programs such as PowerPoint. Once you have a template, you can use the built-in tools like shapes and lines and curves to make your calculations and operations on this mid chart on a very simple, easy and aesthetic manner. And that's it for this video. See you next time.